Hey folks, I want to invite you to join us on Sunday. Uh, of course, we've got our normal prayer gathering at nine o'clock, family groups at 9.30, and then our worship celebration at 10.40. And then on Sunday evening at six o'clock, we've got our annual children's Christmas program where they'll sing some great Christmas songs for us and read some scripture and have that short program followed by a reception in our fellowship hall where you can come and gather with us, not only for the children's program, but also for some delicious food and great time of fellowship. So we want to invite you to make plans on Sunday, make plans on joining us. And uh, we're looking forward to that. I want to just kind of challenge you to read Luke chapter two leading up to Sunday. Of course, that's the, the famous Christmas story. You know, you have there in verses one through 20 that we typically read during our candlelight service. But I'm going to focus on verse 14 on Sunday. And we're going to look at that and talk about uh, the, the comfort and joy that we have in Advent and talking about the, the coming of Christ really should give us that continued comfort and joy that it's not just as we look at this time of year, we think about uh, the Christmas story and we think, oh, okay, yeah, that's that's exciting. I, I get to do the, all these things with my family and get to celebrate Christmas. But there's something more to it than just what we typically think of, even as followers of Christ, when it comes to the comfort and joy that we have in the Advent season. And, and really because it, we're gonna talk about two reasons we celebrate Advent and what that means for us as followers of Jesus. So. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. So that's a preview for Sunday morning. I hope you'll read that scripture. Uh, prayerfully think about how you can invite someone and join us on Sunday morning.